we're standing here at the font, and here we sprinkle when we baptize. We simply pour on your head, more or less. Historically, there have been many ways to baptize. That Greek word baptizo, baptism, has a primary meaning. That is an immersion, but it's a ceremonial washing. The Bible talks about the Jews baptizing their pots and pans and their sofas. I don't think that they would drag their beds and sofas down to the lake and throw them in. But I'm sure they had a little bucket and a rag and they'd wash it off. Well, so it is that baptism throughout the years has been given in many modes. There are those who insist that you must dunk someone in holy baptism. But I already talked to you about how we would use a shell to baptize the little ones in the early church, also the big ones. There are many depictions from the early church of people standing in the water and the water being poured on them. So the mode of baptism we don't find to be terribly important. We just simply find baptism to be important. It's funny, there was a Lutheran and a Baptist pastor talking one day, and the Baptist pastor insisted, you must be immersed. And the Lutheran pastor said, what if you're immersed up to the ankle? Is that enough? The Baptist pastor said, no, no, that will never do. What about the knees? That, no, no, that will never do. Waist, is that enough? No, no, no. Chest, the chest has got to be enough. No, the chest is not enough. So what you're saying is that we have to get your head wet. And the Baptist pastor said, exactly. And the Lutheran pastor said, we agree. We put water on the head. We use the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we count baptism as a blessing. The mode is not that important. The thing is what's important. God has commanded us to baptize, and so we do.